What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Legion OS version 3.11. The build date here is 30 July 2021. Again this is an OS is vendor based ROM and of course this build includes the G apps. And this is how the about section looks like of the Legion West. It shows version 3.11 official build. The maintainer's name is Anon Hacker 47 and the build date 30 July and the Android version here is Android 11 as you are noticing. Let me actually go back from here. The security patch is latest of July 5th 2021 not quite August yet because this is not an August build of course and the stock kernel here is the Immensity X kernel. And on the top, it shows this Legion OS L logo up there. And in the about phone, it shows all the specifications of the phone. So let me actually show you the home screen. This is how the home screen looks like. And if you go into the settings of it, this is how the settings are there. We have the show Google app and the show search bar and icon packs you can change. You can disable the suggestions. You can also enable this hidden and protected apps. And we have the notification gesture, the double tap to sleep gesture anywhere in the home screen is there. And swipe down to clear all recents option is there if you want to enable that. So yeah, this is a great launcher and it does have this double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. And let me actually show you the Fingbit scanner speed right now. I would say the Fingbit scanner speed has been so far really really good. And I have been getting really like amazing experience with the Fingbit scanner. Let me actually show you one more time with my left hand thumb from the always on display again. And right now let me just double tap over here from the lock screen. Here if I tap the fingerprint scanner, as you can see it unlocks. So very fast and reliable fingerprint scanner experience here again. And if you swipe down anywhere in the home screen, you are getting the quick setting panel. And if you swipe up, you get the app drawer. You can also search for any particular app over here. To the left of the home screen, we have the Google's Discover page. The widgets and stuff, everything is working fine. And again, talking about the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like. And it has this oxygenous kind of look because I have changed that. You can change it however you want to. You can edit and add multiple toggles from here. Let me show you what toggles that I have added over here. So first we have the battery saver, the dark theme, everything is working fine and we have the Android 11 screen recorder again. With that we can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. And now we have the hotspot, the do not disturb, the data saver and also we have the peak notification then the night light enabling or disabling option. Also we have the DC dimming if you want to enable that, you can enable that from right here. And we have the reboot toggle right here, you can tap and hold on it to get into the recovery directly. And the always on display you can enable or disable from here and we also have the fps counter if you enable this fps counter right there on the top left you get the fps so yeah this fps info is actually working fine whenever you're gaming or something you can use that also there is a sound toggle so if you tap and hold on it you are getting the volume panel this is how it looks like because i did customize the volume panel over here but you can change this volume panel look so right now let me talk about the stock camera situation over here you are getting the google camera go edition by default and this is a really great camera as you can see the front camera and stuff everything is working fine with that we get the face retouching option too for selfies also we have the portrait mode if you want to enable or take portrait selfies or something you can definitely use this portrait mode option over here and this actually works super fine no issues whatsoever with the portrait mode also you can take basic videos with this but i have also installed the anx camera version 190r and that is actually working fine even with the portrait mode working earlier on the bliss rom it was not working so i thought it was an OSS vendor based issue but here as you can see the portrait mode is actually working fine with the ANX camera version 190R. If you don't know how to install this ANX camera version 190R you can just check out the card right there and you can get to see all the features from other video I'll list everything in the description. But here the 48 megapixel mode for the Redmi K20 Pro is not working for some reason. But again in the video settings we have up to 4K 60fps option with the ANX camera version 190R. Also you can enable the pro video mode and stuff and you can get like the 4K 60fps pro video mode where you can adjust the ISO or something if you want to like tweak those. If you want to know everything about the ANX camera just check out the description. And here let me actually show you I have also installed this Google camera and that too is working super fine with the night sight and stuff. And with the 2x telephoto zoom and stuff everything is working fine with the Google camera. Again with the ANX camera too you can switch the lenses let me actually show you. Here as you can see I can switch to the 0.6x lens that is working fine. Now the 2x lens as well is working super fine no issues. So yeah all the lenses are working totally fine. No issues with the camera on this particular ROM. Talking about Volti calling, yes, both Volti and Vue Wi-Fi is working fine here. And as you can see, there is no call recording option on the stock dialer because this is a pixel dialer over here pretty much. So yeah, you don't get any call recording option, but works super fine with Volti or like Vue Wi-Fi. In the Legion settings, you will get all the customization and this is how the Legion OS customization panel looks like. Looks very beautiful in my opinion, it has this Legion OS settings right there. 
and if you scroll down you get to see all of the customization that is present huge amount of customization is there we have the quick setting customization from there you can enable this monthly or data usage and we have the header image customization then the quick setting brightness slider also then the auto brightness icon etc and the column and row number you can customize from here let me go back we have the status bar kind of customization settings and from here you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons also the colored status bar icon is there but i have disabled that and we have the status bar battery indicator you get these mini battery icons also you can get to use the battery percentage next to the icon on the status bar right there you can see it, my battery percentage is showing up so yeah you have the quick setting battery percentage as well let me go back we have the clock customization the traffic indicators and we have the brightness control so sliding a finger on the status bar you can adjust the brightness just like this and this is a very handy feature for me at least and i do use it on a daily basis and we have the show 4g instead of lte also you can customize the volte icons and as well with the vo wi-fi icons if you have vo wi-fi enabled you can customize these now into the theming we have the base themes you can choose the light dark etc pitch black kind of themes from here and the accent color picker is there so you can pick any kind of accent color as well with a gradient color you can pick so you can mix the ui with these two colors and that, that is how you can like do it and we have the switch appearance too then we have the headline and body fonts and again plethora of body fonts that you will get as you can see lot of options are there for the headline and body fonts and the status bar icon and the icon shape everything you can customize over here even the ui style you can choose this rounded medium so that you get this rounded kind of corners on the pop-up windows and stuff and even on the quick setting panel you are getting to see this rounded kind of corners over here so yeah and we have the quick setting opacity control from here then we have the brightness slider i have been using it with a meme round stroke that is why it looks like this one but you can customize that too now in the quick setting tile styles we have these options and i have been using it with the oxygen OS. that's why it looks like this black kind of accent over here because i have been using it with the oxygen OS kind of quick setting toggles but you can choose any one from these like dual tone circle and stuff everything is there and we have the quick setting header style you can choose it to accent best or something and the tint quick setting toggle as you can see is there i have been using it with the oxygen OS 11 and there is the accent color and the default option over there in the lock screen settings we have the lock screen charging info the transparent notification if you scroll down we have the ambient mode and the lock screen ui changes you can like increase or decrease the clock size i mean the clock font size and stuff even the lock screen weather you can enable from here let me go back we have the background blur for the lock screen too the wallpaper of the lock screen and there is the fingerprint icons and these are the fingerprint icons that you can choose or customize so yeah a lot of icons are there and also we have the fingerprint pressed color you can change that and the recognizing animation is also there and this is really cool that it shows all these recognizing animations so that you can identify which animation it will appear like in the lock screen whenever you are unlocking the device. There is the McLaren one, the Ripple, then the Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, all these animations you can get to see an image for the particular animation that will appear whenever you are unlocking your device. That is really cool. I have been using it with the Pulsar one but you can use it with anyone. Then we have the screen of fingerprint option but let me tell you there is no option for the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. That simply is missing. In the notifications we have the heads up disabling option then the center notification headers and stuff then the battery charging light. In call vibrations are there then the pulse flashlight for incoming calls is there let me go back in the gestures we have the screen of power button toggle torch then the swipe break screenshot and this swipe break screenshot does not have the long screenshot option which is kind of a bummer in all the roms pretty much you are getting that long screenshot option but here you only get the share edit and delete option that's it you don't get any kind of long screenshot option over here this rom simply does not have a long screenshot option even here if you see there is the take full screenshot option but no long screenshot option again the double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar as well is there in the gestures. Now in the navigation bar we have the system navigations and in the settings we get this gesture navigation. If you go into the settings of that we have the gesture bar length then the gesture bar radius customization I did customize it as you can see the pill bar is quite long and thick right now and the back gesture animation you can customize and the haptic feedback option is there even advanced gestures like extended swipe action you can customize from here. Then there is a three button navigation but weirdly there is no two button navigation for some reason. Let me scroll down in the buttons we have the show app volume then the volume panel customization i have been using it with a miui compact but you can also use this oxygen OS kind of like volume panel then the project 404 then the shape shift kind of volume panel also is there and you can also like get the playback control and stuff over here with the volume buttons then in the power menu we have the power menu animation and and in the power menu settings you can enable the screenshot screen record etc options for the power menu if you want to then we have the enable advanced restart option let me actually show you 
this is how the power menu looks like. We do have this Google Smart Home Controls over here. That too works fine. And if you tap on Restart, you can directly reboot to System UI or the system and you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from here. Let me go back to the animations now and there is the whole UI animation customization like the screen of animation you can change then we have the quick setting tile animation even and the toast animation and stuff is there. Let me scroll down we have the misc kind of customization we can enable the wake up on charge if you want to then the allow signature spoofing is there and that's it we have the about section right here and you can donate to the developers from here of course. Let me go back and in the display settings we have this kind of looking display settings we have the DC dimming right here and it shows that DC dimming is not supported by the kernel so yeah I did enable it from the quick settings panel but if you disable it as you can see it doesn't do anything from here so yeah from right here I cannot simply enable it so that is weird like the stock kernel may be not supporting the DC dimming over here but there is the high brightness mode okay so this high brightness mode even is not working over here as you can see if I enable it it doesn't do anything so yeah that's how it is the high brightness mode is just there it doesn't like enable the high brightness mode maybe when I go outdoors it will work not really sure and we have the brightness level then the night light customization and the adaptive or auto brightness is there then we have the screen timeout and the styles and wallpapers are there and let me show you we have this on device wallpaper and this is the default wallpaper of the Legion OS that I have been using. Also there is this L paper option and I mean the app, the L paper app. And here you will get a lot of Legion OS wallpapers as you can see it downloads from the internet of course and whenever you are connected to a Wi-Fi network it will download automatically these wallpapers as you can see. They look really really awesome in my opinion. And of course you can apply them to your home screen or lock screen whatever you want to. So yeah huge amount of Legion OS wallpapers that you get over here in this particular L paper app that is present by default in this particular ROM. Now in the style set wallpapers we do have this choose grid size over here and there is the clock options and these are the lock screen clocks that you will get. But sadly I can see the gradient fire then the type alt etc then the sticker tag clock artino and the s funny one lot of clocks are there. But sadly again we do not get the android 12 kind of lock screen clock over here which might be a bummer if you're coming from a different ROM like spark os or something. In the lock screen we have the always show time and info that is for the always on display then the double tap to wake the prevent accidental wake up is there then the enable blurs option is there. If you enable this you need to reboot the device once to get actually these like blurry kind of effect in the background and the dark theme is there and we have the font size kind of customization then the display size the dpi and the ambient display customization is here. That's it for the display settings now moving on to the sound settings we have the ringtone and the other volume customization over here and the ringtone vibration pattern is there and you can change that of course you can customize the ringtone from here and we have the touch vibration dial by tone screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration everything is there and we also have the me sound enhancer with that you can set it to youth edition and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is amazing over here no issues that i have had with the sound quality of this particular rom you can also choose a preset from here and then we also have this enable hi-fi option so if you have a really great pair of like wired headphone or something you can just enable that and the clear speaker option is also there and again with the like me audio enhancer there is also the moto dolby audio over here you can set it up with your loudspeaker or a particular headset you can do everything like you can customize this with an equalizer or something and yeah the moto or dolby audio over here is working flawlessly the audio output with the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is plenty loud over here so no issues and it has a lot of clarity in it in my opinion. Now in the security settings we have again these kind of icons everywhere appears like whenever I'm going into the Bluetooth settings let me actually show you if I go into see more just notice how cool the animations look over here everywhere I get to see these animations and they definitely do look awesome in my opinion. So back to the security settings in the settings panel we have this quick unlock option but again there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. Here we have the lock screen timeout after like 5 seconds or you can customize that up to 30 minutes and we have the power button instantly locks. I have showed you the fingerprint scanner speed already so currently let me just set up my face unlock. So setup of the face unlock is done right now let's just double tap anywhere in the home screen and double tap to wake and right now if I swipe up and point the phone towards my face as you can see it unlocks with the face unlock. Let me try one more time. Let's just swipe up from the lock screen. Yes you do have to swipe up to use the face unlock otherwise the face unlock will not work. As you can see the face unlock speed is super fast in my opinion considering this device has a motorized camera. Jumping into the app lock settings this is how the app lock settings looks like and of course you can lock any particular app just by tapping on them like just like this. 
So yeah, you can lock any particular app and we have the lock app after instantly 50 seconds and screen off option. And let me tell you, this app lock does not have any particular bugs. Like whenever you are tapping on the notification on lock tab, it doesn't get you into the app directly. It will ask you for the fingerprint or the passwords. And whenever you are opening a app that is locked, this is how it will look like. It will ask you for the pin or the face data, or it will ask you for the fingerprint scanner. And you just tap the fingerprint scanner and that particular app should be unlocked just like this. So yeah, the app lock as well is working super fine here. Now let's just jump into the battery settings. This is how it looks like. It has this kind of animation, looks very cool in my opinion. If you tap here, you get to see the full battery usage right here. Let me go back and we do have the thermal profiles too. So let me actually show you. It has this default benchmark, then the browser, camera, dialer, gaming and streaming options. So you can set any particular app to uh, like particular thermal profile. Then we have the battery saver, then the adaptive battery and the smart charging is also there. Then if you scroll down, we get to see the full charge lasts about how long, then the screen usage time or the screen on time, then the battery temperature shows up right here. Then we get to see the design battery capacity, the current battery capacity, as well we can see the charging cycles over here. So this is great that we are getting to see all of these informations in right into the battery settings. And this is great. There are not a lot of ROMs which shows all the battery info like this. But this particular Legion OS shows everything for you. It shows the charging cycle, the capacity, the current battery capacity, I mean, and the battery temperature and the screen on time as well. So yeah, you get to see all of those things. The battery life here is decent. You can get up to six plus hours of screen on time in my opinion, because this is again an OSS vendor based ROM. It will not give you MIUI vendor based ROMs kind of battery life. But yes, the battery life should be around six to seven hours of screen on time. And the fast charging is working fine as well. In the system, this is how it looks like. We have the Legion OS updater and you can check for updates from right here. There is also the front camera settings. And right here, you get to see the calibration for the front camera. You can calibrate the like motorized camera if you want to. Then we have the sound effects for the front camera opening or closing. And we have the front camera raise dialog. Then the camera LED, you can turn it on or off from here. And the default keyboard here is Gboard. Now, my experience has been so far so good with this particular ROM. And I would say even though this is an OSS window based ROM, the performance over here is amazing. And I did not face any kind of lags or stutters over here in this UI. The whole UI stays very fluid. And this is how the recent panel looks like. We can take a screenshot from right here. Then we have the clear all option. Then the share option is also there. And of course, if you tap here, you get to see the split screen and stuff when the app supports it, of course. So let me just do one thing. I have opened a couple of apps over here. I'll try to open them from memory. First, let's open Chrome. As you can see, still in memory. Facebook, yes, still in memory. Twitter, as you can see again, still in memory. Play Store, yes, that too is in memory. And even YouTube is still in the RAM and Instagram as well in the RAM. So the memory management over here is really good and you can switch between apps just like this and no issues whatsoever that I have faced with the memory management. This ROM has really amazing memory management in my opinion, as you can see, all the apps stays in memory. And here are the end to end Geekbench score of this particular ROM and as well with a CPU stress test. Talking about safety net test, it passes the safety net test right out of the box as you can see and also I have installed Magisk over here with Magisk hide as well, it passes the safety net test. So banking apps is not a problem on this particular ROM. Now talking about DRM info, if you have not broken it, it should be L1 for you but as I have permanently broken DRM certification, that's why it shows L3 over here. Hey Google, Google Assistant is working fine with the voice trigger, let me try one more time. Okay Google. As you can see again, Google Assistant is not a problem on this particular ROM with the voice trigger. So what do I think about the Legion OS? The performance over here is really good. The whole UI stays buttery smooth. No issues whatsoever that I have faced. Yes, you will miss the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner or force fingerprint option if you're coming from Air OS or something like that. But yes, definitely the whole UI's performance is very good. If you want a gaming ROM, this will be one of the perfect options, like one of the most perfect options for the Redmi K20 Pro right now. The K20 Pro specifically has ton of custom ROMs. That's why this is very hard to actually choose a perfect ROM for this device. But here I would say ANX camera version 190R is working flawlessly. So all of those things makes the Legion OS a perfect go-to option in my opinion. If you're gonna be totally fine with really driving a OS Defender based ROM, this is one of the most perfect option as it can get for the Redmi K20 Pro. I would say the Legion OS is gonna be the best option pretty much with a lot of customization, with a lot of performance, really good memory management. Everything is buttery smooth over here in this UI. So that's what I think. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is T2 from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.